Hello everyone, it's Love here and today the only video you need to watch if you want to reach Mythic as soon as possible. It took me below 2 hours to hit Mythic and after you watch this video you will be able to do the same. So this is the highest win rate Azure's control right now in standard for Diamond and we had some insane results with it. Man, I went 9 wins, 3 losses or something crazy with this. Uh, we are uh, consistently above 70% win rate. And to be fair, the win rate that we got is way higher than it's supposed to be, but you know what? I'm not very surprised, we are pretty good at magic on this channel, so be sure to subscribe if you want to learn how to play control against those pesky aggro decks or pesky control decks, because we will have some insane examples today how to outplay a control player in a very masterful game, so I think you will like it. And the last game in today's video will be the promo to Mythic, so you can skip ahead if you want to cheat. It's fine, alright? I forgive you. Alright guys, thank you for being here, uh, don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the show. Okay, Mono Black. Mono Black is something we absolutely love to see right now in this kind of situation because they run like 3 and 4 drops, which hits exactly our normal lies. And the populate is really good against them. Oh, that's a Demir. Okay, that changes a lot. We're still in an okay spot because we have counter spells and nice lands, but at some point it might be a problem. So our opponent is considering something. What is it? Playing a main... I think it might be toxic deck. If they're thinking it might mean they will want to proliferate something. Or not really proliferate, just poison us. Or maybe they forgot about you know playing the game. I think they forgot about playing the game. Alright. I guess it happens to the best of us. Maybe. Alright. What is this crazy play you are trying to make, my friend? No more lies are really good in this situation. We just want to keep playing lands every turn. We have healthy mana base, we are guaranteed to protect ourselves against whatever he has. Uh, we just need Memory Druge. Field of Ruin is not perfect, but what can you do, man? What can you do? At least he will spend some of his mana, so he cannot you know, overpower us with a 4 drop. Bro, ha have fun. <laughs> have fun. <laughs> because we are, we are having a lot of those. And he won't be able to prevent us from counters. But sometimes you need to be careful. They can catch you a dance step, maybe. Sometimes, who knows? Probably not. All right, a counter spell, perfect. This is a very nice draw. We just need memory Rouge at this point. We are collecting those counter spells like Pokemon. <laughs> so, playing hands, both of us. Oh no, I need I need to get a card for this. I mean show me what you got. I get like we have very above average draw on the counter spell sides. So we should be a bit better there. The problem is memory Rouge. Soon we won't be ab able to counter it with no more lies. Alright. Sketchy. We are entering a weird part of this game. We don't need the populate, it's a very clunky, very slow. March can be useful against Reefs, they should play though. Oh, I think this is the last land they have. If they play Takenuma, it's usually the last one. You can also see on my Atawara. It's kind of the same thing. So, if I play Memory Deluge, they will dissipate it. It's a heavy control style, it seems. They have 7 cards, so if I draw a land I can cycle with Trevor. And they're keeping this Field of Ruin for Mirex, that's something I was thinking about. And that's good, that's a very nice draw. Can I? Can I, my friend? It's not something they want to counter, but it's still good for us. No more lives will, will get worse over time, but in one of the turns he will try to overpower everything. 5 mana is not where we want to be, we wanted 6 mana, but you know, we will get there. Oh, you want to use this field of ruin finally? Is this the moment for memory, Delush? No. No. But we still take the mana. You know, maybe he plays something and then stuff. And then we can use this mana to counter. Let's go for the blue one. 
Uh, we have symmetrical mana right now, like perfectly symmetrical, so it shouldn't matter at all. I mean, I could memory the rush. If they dissipate, I can counter it, but then I lose all my guard. So I think we just can do it on the next turn because we get two extra land and we lose one mana from the mana pool. Right. I like this kind of matchup because you like the the pressure mounts slowly but surely. This is really good, man. This is perfect. He thinks it's good for him. He doesn't know we have get lost. We can answer it at 2 mana. This is really nice, man. No, I'm not exiling eight, four cards from my, <laughs> from my hand for this one. The, are there any creatures here? And I'm so tempted to give him one turn, but it's not a good choice. It's not a good choice. Let's be responsible gamer here. I could go with Elspeth, but we might just go Ember at the end step. You can see, you can feel that the battle has started, and uh, this field of run when he see, sees triple anchorage, he knows he cannot kill all of them most of the time. So then he starts keeping it for Mirax because he knows we probably play one. So that was one of the things I didn't like about playing triple anchorage. Well, this is definitely something we have to counter, unfortunately. On this turn. On the next turn we can cast Memory Delush. If they counter it, and I hope they will, They, I think they are playing very smart uh, around No More Lies. And I think they know we have them in the hand, but they've never seen them. And now they think if... So they have a counter spell and they didn't want to get No More Light. Which is really smart play. Like, they're really playing nicely. Very bad draw. If I play Memory Drush right now, I get countered. Uh, if we play Memory Drush, they will hit Dissipate, which is the second best card for the matchup. And that kinda sucks. 3-5. We can double no more lies for mana and then play Emperor or... S yeah, it's not great. Our opponent is playing extreme... Like, bro, this guy knows exactly how to play Control Mirrors. He's playing extremely well. He's doing exactly how you should be playing this kind of matchup. And he knows about all the no more lies. However, now this is... Okay, I think we go with the Emperor first. Ember is nice to break control player into doing stuff. They don't like it, but they also don't want to counter it. Good. I think we'll make triple samurai maybe. We'll see. And I will protect my people. Oh, he wants to do something. Edict. That's, that's actually super fine. I still get some pressure, he's down to see. The problem is he might himself have a memory deluge. And if we play this, he plays memory deluge. And that's not good for us at all. A very bad draw again. Our those are not like tier one right now. Alright. He will ignore it. He knows it doesn't matter. Alright, so what do we do? I think we go again with the Emperor. I think that's what we have to do. He's like slowly out of time and we still have dissipates in the deck. Absolutely, my friend. This this is the type of reaction we wanted to see. Sorcery speed, three mana. We, we basically used no more lies right now. Another one. Like we are slowly but surely cracking him. And now every spell he plays, except two drops, like Edict, uh, we'll get hit with a counter spell potentially. It also allows memory duration on the on the main phase if we really want to. But I want to keep my mana open. A land is okay. Land is good. They cannot respond to land, so you can play it before using uh, you know the abilities. And now we can go Memory Drush with a No More Lies, and that's huge, because we need to make it through. We hit Memory Drush, our opponent didn't, or he doesn't play those. We, it's hard to say. So we should be ahead here. 
he knows that he's falling behind. Return target. Okay, absolutely. Man, th this is good. I love it. Look, he always skips the three mana. The problem is that even if you if he plays around it perfectly, I don't need Super Emperor. Like they already do the trap. This is for ten lethal. That means they need to play another card, at least one. And every mana they tap at sorcerer speed means they get better. So we keep him by the, by the neck the whole game because our colors are a little bit better in counter spelling wars. And we didn't miss land drops, and we hit the first Memorials, which is huge advantage for us. However, he's playing very, very well. Yep, and this is what he wanted. So, we can go with Memorials and try to hit Dissipates. I cannot exile it. Uh, I cannot exile Dissipate from my graveyard. It also kills the board, I guess. Okay, we need. I need to think. This is the main, uh, you know, turn for the game. This will decide everything. So I can go memory the rush into what? I cannot hit dissipate. I can tap him fully. I'm not sure if that's the right decision, but we are going with it. I like I'm playing very all in right now. This is very all in, but when he taps, he knows he loses control over two turns in a row. So we counter. One of the reasons for this play is that if I draw land, especially, uh, I can hit dissipate with this, and I probably will. That means we can keep countering his stuff for the future. And also, that's a lot of power in the board. I think this is the moment. Mirex is also nice, but... Oh man, this is harsh. He needs to sweep the board. If I play land, we can counter whatever he plays. I think he has one counter spell in the hand. So I'm not going fully all in right now. I need to survive this turn. He gave us one turn, now we are giving him one turn. That's a lot of damage. And that's why Emperor is so good in control against control. Not because it ever wins games, but it threatens to win games if they don't react. So now they kind of have to play a sweeper. And that means the second card they will play is so much weaker. Now they cannot play stuff, and that means now we end up with all of this. And now we have counter spells for days. Let's go. They might try to counter it. I'm moderately fine with it. That's a, that's a negate, sure. You got it, you got it. Uh, do we go with down courage? Not really. Can we psych? Oh, never mind. I didn't realize we have so many cards. All right. That was probably the counter spell we were talking about the whole game. He had it for a very long time, but he decided to not use it before. Shark. All right, let it be shark. He doesn't have too many cards. This can hit Memorials or something. It can also give him lands, which are really important in this matchup. He kind of wants it, I think, but we still will do it. I lose the ability to hard counter spell, but this should be close enough. He knows to play again, uh, around no more lies very well, but if he goes for deadly cover up, trying to hit our big stuff, uh, then we still catch him. Oh, this is so smart. I hate it. This is really smart. I didn't expect him to do it. That's really good. All right, bro. You got me. You got me. I can uh, use marches to get rid of some of the tokens. That's actually okay. You know what? I, I expected this to be worse. 
oh, this is such a nice card for him. He really wants this kind of stuff, and I cannot mill it. However, we can do a lot. Okay, this is the turn. We have him. We have him. If we play it right, we win. I can deal... How much damage? 6, 7 damage. That's a lot. 7 damage is a lot. But I probably won't have enough. I think we can use those... Lockdown, man. I need to really think about it, man. 3, 6. We have potentially 2 spare mana. But we want those counter spells as well. This is something we have to counter. Basically. And this will get him back into the game. Alright, man. So I think we need to slow him down. This is how close this game is. I'm actually exiling two cards. I don't think it's a cut down, right? I'm not thinking as long as I should, to be absolutely honest, guys. But I don't want to make it longer. Even if that's... Um, do we go for two turn Lifa? No, we go with the bird. He does. He cannot uh, activate anything, so he's taking this damage for the turn. That means the next turn we can really go hard. And we need three and and two because we can counter everything he will play. He can draw cards because of this draw. We need to be very very aggressive. He can play it. He can draw cards, but he won't be able to play the cards he draws this turn. And I can also lock down before attacking with the Anchorages. And if I hit, this one kills him already. Only two cards. He needs to survive. Even Samurai can heal him because we can... Oh, right, we have the Emperor. Yeah, I think... Man, we, I think we really outplayed this guy. Uh, not... To be honest, we outplayed him by drawing better cards. We were having more counter spells and more memory deluge. Land is extremely nice here. So he will try to go around our stuff. We definitely go with this. We want as many counter spells as we can. He might have double go for the throat. I think we want to go with flank threats because then they kill him. We can use the map token, right? Three, two, and only two spare mana. So I don't think it matters too much. Let's see what we draw. Is that a land? Did I draw a land? Oh, that's... All right. And now the question, is that another counter spell? Because we, we cannot be double go for the throat or cut down. And we don't know what the priority is. All right, tapping out, that means no more lies. I think we got him. And this is why we exiled two cards on March. You can see this extra mana won us the game. This is exactly this extra four mana that we exiled for. This is how we play magic. All right, this is how we play magic. And he still has something. And this one has flying, so. I think we played it to perfection, guys. I'm 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 really happy with this game. Man, this should be our mythic promo. I think we really showcase how to masterfully play control against control. And to be fair, our opponent played perfectly from start to finish, and he was insanely good. He just had worse cards in his hand. All right, guys. Man, on the draw, double dissipate. Oh man, it hurts. <laughs> At least we have the Chrome, because the Painland will absolutely destroy us. And we're against Boros. Have you have you thought it will happen? Have you thought it will happen? So this is turn 3. Being on the draw absolutely sucks against any kind of aggressive aggro deck. But maybe we can make it work. Uh, we have the Populate. That's, that's nice. That's something. Well, this is the card you cannot answer really. So we are taking 2 damage a turn. And let's see how much more. 
We need to get to the next turn, man. Like, if we are on the play, it would already be fine. Uh, on the draw, he has one big play and we cannot really answer. At least it's not Recruiter, so not like 5 damage to my face. It's, it is possible it's more reinforcements. This is a pretty decent draw overall. That means that we don't need to pain land at all. And we can start using Dissipates on anything he plays. Do we really go for it? I think we take 4 damage. And we just see what he plays. Uh, the war Spanish is Cavern of Souls into Recruiter. That's the only thing I fear. All right, that's not it. That's not it. So now whatever it, whatever they play uh, to amplify this, they need to go before combat phase. Here we go. Thank you for participating. Four damage. That's a lot, but we can use our counter spells. They have Cavern of Souls, but they don't always draw it. And we can go with Mirex because ma our mana base is pretty healthy. I think it's still one more turn, man. Especially that I can always play the Emperor and I can win board with my Samurais if I really want to. Like two Samurais will negate all of this. And that means we don't need to tap out main phase with uh, the Populate. Cavern of Souls is like the, the only thing that really matters. All right. So the Knight of Eos is the next step. But I think we can fight it. I think there is a chance we will fight against the value of aggro deck. How crazy is that? Alright. He has some instants, but not sure what ones. Uh, this is easier to exile with March, that's why we leave the tokens. Alright. I mean, that means we just go for the board. Uh, we might want to get lost into Dissipate on this turn. We need two colorless mana, so it's Painland and Mirex. That means we need to go with planes. Let your blade do so if fight. we attack, even if he has uh, resort reinforcements, I'm trading two for one. Well, not really two for one, but one for one. That's fine. And now we have Dissipate and the Populate, so we can punish them for, like, m in multiple ways. All right, it's it's strong, but. It's just 5 damage, uh, lower it down to 3. He needs something to amplify it. For example, a recruiter. Because otherwise this doesn't work. One drop or a land. Okay. You want to attack? I hope he attacks, but he doesn't. Good choice, good choice. We are getting flooded like crazy. The problem is I have very low loyalty on Emperor. And after the populate, I want to have a board. It is possible they have a double recruiter. In which case we need to... So they play recruiter into something potentially. Oh man, this will be so much damage. But if I go the populate, I don't have board right now. Two and three. So get lost could... Like we might want to play a normal land. Right, this will be very scary, guys. So, we block 3. This is 10 damage on board. We can get it down to 8. Then we depopulate. I mean, we kinda have to do it. Strike fast and strike fast. Not perfect. Oh, and we have get lost. I kinda forgot about this part. So we can mitigate more damage. It's cr pretty crazy that we never draw uh, in the lockdowns. Of course they have it. Easy. We actually never hit a lockdown in any of the Boros games. Man, deck is so predictable. Do we go with Get Lost and give them map tokens? Or we keep it for the next creature? 8 damage. I think we just take it. I think we just take it, man. My turn. This is overall a pretty good deal. Let's order it nicely. Like, our opponent is at 10, so he needs to start thinking about, you know, playing the game. Alright, now we have the priority on board. And let's get rid of this coast, because we are getting absolutely flooded right now. Man, like, I basically only have lands this game. 
and we are still winning somehow so that's really good uh, dissipate honestly is incredible draw right now another resolute enforcement potentially the fourth one really it feels like it but it shouldn't matter too much we can negate the cavern of souls is very very strong draw on them but they don't really have the board to support it and we still have a removal and i can make mirx mirx how important this is this is their only chance to have the board i think we do it i think we do it he didn't have plays before I think he had the mana, that means that's the last card he drew and the other cards suck. That's my idea and this is potentially the new card. Yeah, I think those cards are bad cards and this is what he drew last turn. Gleeful Demolition. I mean, I don't want him to have three creatures. I prefer him to have two map tokens. Ah, better? <laughs> Yeah, so he needed this Mirex, so he drew Mirex, he had Gleef, yeah, he had double Gleeful Demolition in hand. That was his hand that kinda, let's say, sucked. Then he drew Resort Reinforcements, he played it at the end step, and then he drew Mirex, which enabled both of his cards. So honestly, his draws are really good, man. And uh, we definitely go like this. And we go... First we attack. This will be scary, because he can potentially win. you you let it from okay and i mean let's see who is the better player i think he he might have some draws that win for example well the anthem doesn't do it right he will use probably this oh if that's the play he's probably out because i can make more mirex tokens yeah i think that's a whiff well not really a whiff he had six creatures into cards so i mean that's pretty decent <laughs> Oh, sure. Wow. Man, can you beat the value of an aggro deck? That's the ancient question. And it seems it's getting harder and harder. I think we still have enough damage because he cannot, you know, count to four. Uh, counting to four, as we know, is a very extremely hard thing to do. Uh, so not every mythic player can do it. And we have enough. Go. And now we drew Memory Delusion. <laughs> like, after we solved everything, we drew our best card for this kind of situation. He's still blocking. Alright. 3 plus 2. That's the mystery for today. What can it be? What can it be? Alright. 1. Maybe he survived. Oh, it's a minus. Oh no, it's a minus 1. Alright. <laughs> Here's your card. <laughs> what a game, man. But you know what? Somehow it works. Somehow it works. I think we need double white most. Well, double blue can be super impactful. I will risk it, man. I will risk it. We're on the play with Forever. If he plays a one mana creature, so it's Ragdos. If he survives, that gives us some information. So it's an Anvil deck. Alright, Anvil deck means that we play like this. Uh, that, and this is, man, I will play completely differently because he gave me this one piece of information. Epicure, alright. I expected an Anvil. So they, they probably didn't draw it yet. Which is good. Which is good. I really want the Reverie. I mean, we can just lock down the, the Anvil, right? I need to draw cards. That's the, that's the reason I'm doing this. I need to draw cards while I can. So they can cycle a card, but still, you know, it's still the same. See, we would we would get mana screwed on the next turn if I didn't do it. And we went for blue, because I need Memory Delush to keep drawing cards. Maybe he he had it. Not sure. But we can we can get lockdown into lockdown, so the anvils aren't as scary as normally. And he's getting rid of his remover, which makes sense. And that's the problem. We got mana screwed anyway. We got mana screwed anyway. 
I don't love it. That's bad. This is the turn when we fall super behind. We basic our opponent basically got two turns in a row. And that's not what you want to see. Even with the right choice on the mana, we still got screwed. Alright, so we need to work for it. One damage. Our trade. Sure. That's a good deal for me. Epicure. Probably not the prime counter spell target in the in the world. I prefer to take damage because we might hit the wrong color. Man, I know that I will get my. Oh my god, we hit the land! Oh man, that's huge! I love it. Okay, that was that was probably the most important play of the game. <laughs> Drawing lands as usually. All right, I think we are in pretty decent spot. Oh, you like drawing cards, huh? Well, I don't like you drawing cards. But you can sacrifice your stuff, that's fine. Alright, so we want to bait as much, uh, as many, you know, threats as he can do. Oh, this is something that will matter. I think he will go with the garden and he will use it to duplicate anvil. So we can pay, I think, two mana and it becomes an anvil. Which sounds great. It sounds great. Until you get locked down. And uh, the interesting choice is, do I draw a, lamp, a, a card with my clue? Oh my god, that's perfect. That's huge. That's actually huge. That means we can draw a card and play the lockdown in the same turn. If he activates this, and he, don't forget, he wasted a land for this. And he lost the land. Not only he paid a lot of mana, so he can sacrifice something, deal one damage, but that's it. He sacrificed the anvil. I love it. I actually love it. And he that's the first search he cycled, by the way. And that's why the second lockdown is so important. Man, I think we got this game. We're at 19, by the way, against the anvil deck. Alright. That's, that's, that's not nice. That's very mean. Uh, so we should go probably for white. I don't think it should matter anymore. So we can lock it down, but the populate is probably better. We get dealt more damage this way. I could also wait one more turn and get three damage to my face. With forever, I don't think it's... Like, we need to think about it because the game is won right now. We just need to not mess it up. If I lock down, I'm vulnerable to a lot of stuff. If I depopulate, it's a little bit better. I think we memory the rush into lockdown. This way we kinda get three damage, but at the same time, oh. This is not what I expected. So his mana is tapped. That means we can go for this. Because I could draw, uh, we, we want the land. We have memory dirge here, so we just go normalize. So uh, he's so tapped that I don't need to hold the counter spell anymore. Sure, that's fine. Uh, I did it because I could hit the march, but I didn't realize the mana is wrong, so it's, it wouldn't matter anyway. We have no more lies. Alright, I think that's it. We go for the play. It's not as good. I hoped he will play like anvils into into the board. But we have enough counter spells that we should mitigate most of the anvils. We just need to counter anvils. Because we don't have answers to it anymore. Really, bro? Really? That's how you're gonna play against me? Uncounterable creatures with haste? Alright, with whatever it won't matter too much. Man, River is such a good card. I honestly will go for it. It, uh, it will give them the card at some point. Oh, this is really nice. This uh, gives us all the counter spell mana. Yeah, we should be fine. Man, we are at 13 against the Anvil deck. With really good opening. They had an Anvil and Artifact on curve. Sure. So now we can get rid of this permanently. Let's see the card. 
But he should attack on me with this in my opinion. Let's see the card. He likes them. Alright. I didn't expect this. So we could trade with the first strike, but it's better to just be sure that we can get rid of it. I will get rid of one of them, because I need to plus one on the next turn, and my token will be better. Sure, that's fine. Okay, we definitely have some dissipates, man. Uh, yeah, we can go like this, because if he attacks, we can minus two. So he doesn't really get extra damage by Remember attacking. I'm a little bit short on mana, but I cannot tap main phase with triple dissipate. We just need to counter everything he plays. And then we have a free reign over the game. Number one. Bring it on. He would have du double anvil with this garden. This card is actually super nice. He can even uh, copy the clue, but he didn't go for it. Sure. Two mana. I think this is it. When they highlight Emperor, they usually concede after it. Alright guys, I'm pretty happy with this one. Alright guys, we're going first. Well, that's some pain, pain nuts, <laughs> aren't those? Alright, that was a weird sentence, but we are still playing with it. At least Goose understands. Uh, it's, it's here. And this will be so hard. Oh. Okay, it just got better. If they leave full demolition, and it really feels like it, uh, we just march the, the crew. Bannicorn. Sure. This will hurt. But we still throw the card. Maybe we draw something that, you know, doesn't kill us. That would be great. Oh boy. Oh boy. Really, all of the payments from the deck from the deck. We could go Sunset Trevor. I mean I could even draw a card. So I can go so I could exile one of the white cards. Then we have four and we draw a card to Forever. And there's no Bannicorn. Is that good man? Is that winning play? We need to kinda tank about it about you know. So if he played he still might have Gleeful Demolition. He still might have it. I mean if he attacks we just go with the march, right? I I'll do it. Because we have quite a lot of instant control against what he has. Easy. <laughs> and honestly this is something we really would love to counter. Man, those Painlands are destroyed. I get dealt more damage from the Painlands than from my opponent so far. Man, like... And I of course got mana screwed as well. And this is getting a little bit ridiculous. Listen, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. With this kind of draw, man, I have no choice. Like, it's abysmal. Oh my god, a normal land? That's crazy. Oh boy, it's still not white, so all the white mana needs to go from the painlands. And here it is. As kind of expected. However, they cannot give haste to it. At least not yet. With we'll dissipate. <laughs> Easy. How can this game go so wrong, man? What? Okay, our opponent whiffed as well, it seems. Okay, we drew a normal land. That, that helps. So what do we do right now? We can depopulate everything, which means we don't have any place. If he goes for the recruiter, it's uncounterable. That means we get... Like, we can minus to this. And this is 3 and 8, 11 damage. The problem is if I depopulate, this is not very good for us. But I cannot counter spells. You know. Alright, let's go. Let's see what happens. Our opponent has card advantage over a control deck. 
the, you know, the usual aggro stuff, and of course they have Recruiter, and they just go for a 3 damage. That smells like a little bit of desperation. Alright, now we can pass the turn. Our Dissipate looks like gold right now. <laughs> and we can still counter non-creature spells, so, you know, it's not fully that card. Honestly, it's not the worst. I've seen worse, but man, the payment. It's good that we had Reverie. Uh, because it really uh, uh, like, soaked a lot of damage, basically. Let's get rid of one of them. Down to five. Can I untap, please? They have something. Is that Gleeful Demolition on my artifact? It kind of feels like it, or the Epicure. Sure. Honestly, this is a good choice in their situation. But it's also a good choice for us. I actually will keep the Emperor. Guards, to me. I think that should be enough to win the game. Man, such a weird start and we still won. Of course, everything uncounterable. Makes sense. Makes sense. So he can only take one drops, but it's still good. One. Okay, one is acceptable. Uh, we can counter it. Honestly, it's probably the best target we'll get. Oh, he has also another cavern. Of course. Sure. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Man, that was such a good decision. I, I have checked. Every single tier 1 deck in standard is an aggro deck. I wonder why. Alright, so what do we do? We can get rid of Knight of Eos. Oh, it's, it's 5 mana. So we go with Gandra against it. I think we go with the Warden, honestly. This is more annoying card. Because it gives them draw. And they're in full top deck mode. Okay, a full whiff. That's why we kept the Emperor, because we know what will happen. <laughs> Alright. They will block, of course. Don't expect them, you know, to do any mind games. They just do what they see. Alright. And now it's pure top deck. And this dissipate, man. Resort reinforcement, sure. I mean, it's not the worst. Like, our Emperor, this is why we kept the Emperor. Yep, still more lands. I love it. First we attack and see if there's reaction. He can double trade. No first strike on this turn. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's a good way to trade against it. But that means I have a board and he doesn't. I have her my draws absolutely suck right now. So for this reason, it might be good for our opponent, and of course, everything he plays is uncounterable. I mean, except this one. <laughs> I will just use this counter spell, man. And Kumano is annoying. I'm so tempted to just go for something on my side, just for the map tokens. Uh, but let's go with this. We can mango Samurais. And you know, we can get rid of one of the things. We're at five, so that's not much. And it will take us like 3-4 turns to kill him. Mirex. One card that draws cards ev card every single turn forever. Ever it's very bad against the Emperor. And here I am with third land from the top. And I'll tell you. We are doing something very interestingly. Alright, I think we still win. But man, this has been such a slog. To be honest, I'm thinking about killing my own Emperor and using map tokens. That will amplify both my draw, like this guarantees my next draw to be good. If he draws something strong it will be a whiff though. Ok, let's count. Does it uh, improve the lethal? I kill this. Well, I, I get 2 damage at most and I lose 1 damage from the plus 1, so I don't think it's worth it. But it was an interesting play. See, that's why we kept the Emperor. Alright guys, this is a very scary hand. Uh, but not against aggro. Against any control deck we have absolutely zero value. 
easy control deck. <laughs> Absolutely easy control deck. So we will cycle a card at least. Okay, this is a draw. This is a draw that really matters. All right, we're getting somewhere. Because we basically have three land, three cards in the hand right now, two lands and the counter spell. And now we punish them with Mirex every time they don't do anything. So this was already a Jay's turn. Man, it's we would we would instantly win against uh, an aggro deck. A court. All right, do your worst. Do you want a counter spell? Then you get get lost. Or locked down. Locked down. Oh, this is cute. If they take a counter spell, I can basically use five mana counter spell at every turn. And they don't want to block, which means that uh, I still will play this one. The problem is that now he sees every single option I have. But I think in this situation it's still worth it, because Agandro is, is a really nice card in this kind of situation. So if he plays something I want to counter, I just get lost his butt and counter with the dissipate. <laughs> That's so fun, man. Like he didn't really get anything. Yeah, Agandro can be against the Reef. Preacher. Huh, that's interesting. He knows about the Populate. And I mean, we aren't countering it. Man, my mind just went blank and I, I forgot I can counter it because, well, I don't have a counter spell, right? I could Agandro this. Or we can go me okay, okay, I think I know. I think I know. This would be so weird. Not the best draw. So we are drawing clans every single turn. Hmm. How do we do it, man? I could a Ganja and then he kinda cannot block. And then we still have to get lost. Oh man, I don't play the land because then he sees my hand. Now he doesn't know what I have fully. We still have to do it. So only negate hits this. I kinda want to be aggressive with the poison. And then we play the citadel, unfortunately, showing that uh, we don't draw anything except lands this game. I could exile everything. But then I lose all the mirex pressure and he cannot draw cards with this unless he hits lands. And lands are okay, it's useful for him, but you know, it's not the main deal. He wants to use the Reef against me, that's why he's baiting this so hard. Alright, the lifelink won't matter and the damage won't matter. And and we are getting counter spell at some point. Alright. I'll take it. Oh, this is an, an interesting one. The problem is... Oh, oh, there's no problem. We can just play a Ganjo. Okay, I like it. We go to 4 poison, it will matter. We play a Ganja, and with the Populate, with a very interesting mana. That means we cannot... Oh, this is... This is interesting. Oh, man. Because we need white to keep white mana if we want to Mirex at that step. But uh, having a counter spell, I think, is more important. I can get hit by this one time, and then I untap and play Emperor. So I actually need to tap differently. It pains my heart. Alright, so be it. No way he has the counters, please don't. I kinda didn't think, didn't think about it to be honest. 
<laughs> and we don't have counters, but of course. All right, we made the right play. See, if we went for Mirex, I think he would stay in the game because he probably had something more. Right, guys? Oh no. OG Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, that, that's a good one. All right, so what our opponents are oh, really more like Red Walker, haha. Uh -huh. All right, so what do we do? I kind of have to draw cards. The problem is that, man, I have to go for it just because I'm getting mana screwed. By the way, this is the second game in a row and I get mana screwed. Uh, I lost the last one because I couldn't play the f uh, the third land basically for like six turns. So let's see if that will be the same. All right. I mean, this is a perfect lockdown turn, but we need lands to play it. Definitely, definitely, not even a question. It saves us so much damage, man. And let's see, let's see. Uh, we kind of want to play Elspeth, Stabilize, of course, they actually had the perfect curve so far. And they're also pretty good at magic. So what do we do? If we play Elspeth, they probably... yeah, I... This would be hard, man. This would be hard. We have answers, but they're very, very clunky. The problem is that he didn't have chance to play the Monstrous Rage, I think, so far, because he never had a spare point of mana. Which means that if we play this, uh, he just tramples the token and kills Elspeth. Sure. If he only goes for this kind of play... Oh, so he wants to celebrate for sure. Do you want to pump? Huh? Of course he does. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, it's all dragons? Are you serious? This ability is even better than I expected. So we can go memory dirge and get seven damage to the face. Or we can negate nearly all of it. This will be at five loyalty. It's not the best, to be honest. I'm not sure, man. This is hard. Down to three. Saving five damage is a lot, but is it worth a turn? So next turn I depopulate, so I can take the tap land, right? And then we go this, I think. Do we go land or dissipate? Dissipates can be really nice if we can get there. All right, I'm not sure about this decision, but we'll take it. Oh my god, so much damage. So good at magic. Oh, I didn't expect this one damage. That's fine. All right. Show me how good at magic you are. Very good. So far, our opponent is very, very good. However, and that was the card we were talking... Oh, okay, it's, it's, it's better. A monster straight is definitely way stronger. Let's see. Top. They like it. They like the card. So we get lost into Dissipate. Uh, yeah, the mana will be nice. Then we need to go Elspeth. Uh, the tap lands kind of hurt a little bit. But I hope... I think we maybe possibly... Man, this guy just knows how to draw cards. Which is the only skill you need in Monoret, kinda. We have all the answers, but can we draw answers as fast as he as he draws exactly what he needs? Alright, we go with Elspeth and we make a token. This is the turn when he can kill us. I don't think he has a lightning strike, no priority. And this is the turn. Yeah, we can transform it, but we cannot attack with it, so it doesn't matter. It could matter if you want to put, we want to put counters, all right? And he will celebrate twice. Uh, sorry, map token twice. Do you want it? Ah, uh, this will be a problem. Man. He doesn't want it. He wants maybe extra cards. I don't know. Oh no, 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 no. All right. So I guess I just lifelink. Sure, I'll take it. 
All right. We still aren't in great spot, but we are in a better spot. Okay, this can be huge. This can absolutely be huge. We need to start thinking about attacking. So I could double block the Godric. One play would be to always try to block Godric. And he won't have two permanents because we can counter them. And we can also memory douche. Okay, okay, this 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 seals the deal. If we can memory douche after the you know whiff, that's huge. It will be a 5-5. I think we have this game if we play right. You want it, huh? You want the burn on my face. Stop pretending. We know you want to hit my face with every card you play in the in the in the deck. Alright, one card. Not a bad card, huh? Not a bad card. I personally think it's a mistake. This doesn't change anything. And it wastes full turn for him. I guess it gives Scry. Scry maybe Scry is worth it. Maybe Scry is worth it. I love my lance. Oh, they removed the token, right? Right, we need to be smart about it. So if we counter three mana, we have three, six. Not the best, not the best. We can go for the map tokens, I guess. We could also do what? Okay, but then they don't, don't get the scry. So we activate the Anchorage for basically 3 mana and we don't have enough. So we kinda have to counter it. So we will use Dissipate on this. That means we can use the rest of the mana to get the birds. I guess one bird. It will help us with the draws. Alright, 3 mana. Moment. I need to think about it. Yeah, we, we can use it. And uh, the payment. Very, very nice. It doesn't matter, so let's go for the bird, I guess. It can help against other creatures. Huh, how good are you? So it hits their 3 drop. But not 1 and 2 drops. It basically hits Godric. I don't think we need it. I think we can draw better than this. I mean, we know what will happen, alright? You play your stuff, I play my stuff. You attack, I block. At least I'm live gaining every turn. So on the next turn, even if he kills the blocker, I still don't die to Godric. I just need to remove my arm. Can I please draw a remove? All right. I still think we win, thanks to Lifelink. He will whiff at one of the draws with like a burn spell that does Well, the burn spells kind of kill us with this, right? But right now we can just go with a double bird and I think we can trade against Godric. And he can kill only one of them. Yeah, Elspeth winning the game. You shouldn't have joined the dark side. I will need to think about this. Because we have multiple ways to go around this play. And I want to win this game, so I will actually think about it. We can go with Get Lost. Get some damage from the Kumara. They will play more stuff and then we can lock down all of it. Maybe. We could also normalize this and have a free reign over the game. And then counter the next spell. I think we get lost this. Right? No. No, we normalize it. I want to really win this game, so we are trying to try hard a little bit. So we'll see how I play when I actually care to win. Alright. This is flipped. So this will deal a lot of damage. I hope it won't be too much. One drop. All I see is a one drop. 
just a lot of cards. The problem is that if I if I go with counter spurs, yeah, I think we should use this one. Even if he goes hard, like I need to survive until I have four mana. That's good. I kind of hope for it. So we got use of counter spell. We, you know, made our opponent play more into the board, and our lockdown still hits exactly the same. But we basically discard one extra card this way. Uh, however, we didn't draw a land, and that means we cannot set up Elspeth, and that's the problem. If we fall behind, we already are out of sweepers. So I need him to slow down for a second, because I need to set up Elspeth. This is okay. No land, alright. That's bad. Alright, we are at very low economy, both of us, but for our opponent it's, it's the norm. For us it's not as much. So we do it like this because we have double march and they're a bit harder to use here. And this costs three mana. Normal ice costs two mana and they kinda do the same thing here. At least for now. Two damage. Alright. Well we definitely we definitely aren't blessed with the fourth land this game. I don't love it. Worst case, I can use March. They still have something. If they go for Monster Stretch, I might uh, go those two cards because that will be 2 for 2. I will take this damage. With Elspeth, we have more leniency to you know, get dealt some extra damage, and I don't want to waste cards. What? Okay, that's cool. That's one free card for me. Man, I re like I cannot keep whiffing the fourth land. Like there is a limit how much, how long I can do it. I kind of want five mana at this point. I guess I will keep drawing four drops. <laughs> All right, it's it's looking worse and worse, man. And now they have Foundry. The problem is I, I cannot make sure that I will draw a land for them. If I had a land, I would just exile those two and clear the board and then go with the Ember and win. It's not good, guys. It's not good. And we need to take full turn off with Elspeth, which we should do like three turns ago. If I whiff a land on the next turn, I don't have place, so I could use Emperor, which is one of the best cards for the matchup, and that's crazy to exile it, just to mitigate this damage. I absolutely hate it, man. If we go to 6, I think we die, right? Yeah, like, there's no way, man. So is this is it an Emperor or Elspeth? I think Emperor is... This is bad, man. And you can see we drew different cards and now we need to exile our cards just to buffer the draws. And if they can uh, kill Elspeth, I'm out. But I need to take this risk. We are three turns behind. Let's see if that's enough. I think she will die and that will be a disaster. But what can you do, man? What can you do? Okay, careful tap for lightning strike probably face okay if they are going face they will, i think they will lose because uh, i don't think i don't know if they remember they can mine i can minus two and i can life gain three a turn that means they need to go with the founder i kill it and they they're out i think we are doing it <laughs> oh now you changed your mind so now he has one card only When this token sticks, we win. We play the land. And we don't need to attack at all. Five. So there is a combination of cards that wins him the game. I didn't check the scry if that was on top. But he needs really perfect cards right now. And he already used double play with fire and lightning strike. He needs play with fire into lightning strike. I think he will try to wait until we tap. Uh, he might also kill the token when we go for a minus two. It, this might be the strategy. 
It's actually pretty smart. Show it. What do you have? Upkeep. Uh, I guess they just like keeping someone at the upkeep. Alright, so... So if we minus two, then they will try to kill it. Then we get less burn, but it still could be... So this could be play with fire, and this will be lightning strike. I don't know, man. I need one creature tapped. I could attack with both of them. If he wants to activate the founder, that will be a full tap, basically. And then we will know. Okay, I, f I, like, I think this is what wins the game. If they go for it, I still get... Yeah, I think this will be it. See? And now we can potentially live gain 3. Yeah, give me this life. And now we can make another one. I think he was waiting with the burn on minus two on this. And we we played around it. Now I can get back to eight, which means we are out of lethal. Yeah, I think we won. <laughs> he had it. Man, if he had lethal in the hand and he doesn't he didn't use it, that would be hilarious. We need to be careful with the Emperor though. Sure. Do you want to attack? Ah, of course you do. That's what you do, right? And that's game. Okay, I'm I'm pretty happy with this one. <laughs> oh, that's is that mythic? Ah, oh, not yet, not yet. So close. Right, guys, we are going first. I like this hat. I think it's pretty good. I really want to win this game. We have double blue. We have double white. I will go with white. My heart wants to go blue, but my brain tells me to go white. And my brain won. <laughs> well, not a surprise. We will pain ourselves, that's something I didn't think about. Maybe I should. But I also didn't have the deuce, right? Oh, you want to draw cards? That's so cute. Our Boros friend is learning to play control. Uh, and I think we just go with this. This is good enough. We need to keep hitting lands. That's the that's the main thing we need to care about right now. If I can hit my lands, I will win this game. But if I get mana screwed, he still has a very fair chance. Uncounterable, just to make sure. Oh, you want to double spell? You know what the second spell does? Nothing. All right, and I, that allows us to draw a card. Oh, you want a warden? This is a lockdown turn, man. He won't even get the scry. So this is a bit risky, but I think it's worth it. Oh my god, the land. That's huge. That's so huge. Do I even need to do it? This should be good enough, man. Like, uh, after doing second... I need to win this because this is my mythic promo and... I, I want Mythic right now, alright? I don't need to play more against Boros. <laughs> I want to brew cool decks. Alright. That's the Evangelist. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Especially that we don't have Planeswalkers right now. Uh, for Alright, alright, alright. We could go with the Lockdown. But it's not worth it. This is 4 damage, like uh, the Evangelist itself isn't super scary, we need to remember that uh, we cannot counter the, the spell. Oh. Oh. That's definitely something I want to counter spell. Maybe we exile something, I don't know. Let's see what they play. Uh, this is not meaningful at all, It's uh, it sucks. Sure. Do we exile it? That should solve the game, honestly. Uh, they have Mirex, but I, I still think we go for it. 
I know it's crazy exiling uh, lockdown against this kind of deck. Well, it is kind of crazy, but it also gives us so much room. I guess dissipate is useless, so we won't have too much value then. So he attacks for four. You know what, let's take it. Let's take it. They generally don't have too much burn. Perfect draw. This draw is insane, man. This is exactly what I wanted. Alright. Don't worry. They will keep attacking. And we still won't dissipate. They have some cards that aren't the creature. For example, this. This isn't a creature. But it's a good lockdown target. Alright, man, this is this is weird. Okay, I need to think about it. I need to win the game and we have the tools to do it. He has one card. So if I counter it, I get 4 damage again. I'm down to 9. He has Miek, so he has a little bit of extra burst. If I let him, I can play Lockdown. So I can get rid of this, then play Lockdown, and then potentially dissipate, but Emperors will be super light. I still think it's worth it. Then he has the Recruiter, but we have Emperors against it. Alright, you got it. You are allowed to have stuff. Oh, you are suggesting that you want this countered? Sure. Right? It's not uncounterable. He uses it, it for what? He uses it at human. It's, it can be countered, right? Just making sure. Man, I hope I don't mess it up. It should be red if it's uncountable. Okay, perfect. That was a weird tap. Why would Tapper get this for uh, the adventure? That's that's why I was a little bit confused. Extremely good draw. Man, my draws are really good. Because I'm mythic, you know? That's what happens when you are mythic. He still has Recruiter, so we don't play Emperor main phase. One random card, one Recruiter and one Evangelist. This one is... See, we used all of our counter spurs, that's pretty huge. He still wants to play the different card. I see. I see. Alright. I, guys, I need to think. This is a serious game. I need to win this. I need to be mythic. So, uh, if we go with uh, Exiling Evangelist, he gets 3 damage and that's it. Then we can follow with Emperor on the next turn, which should be game winning. And we want to do it first. This way he doesn't get the buff. He also doesn't get the buff. That's the last card. Emperor is multiple cards in one, so even though we have two cards, we have infinite cards at this point. And we can just use the Samurai, we don't need two loyalty if we can use one. Sure. And Mirex is normally scary, but not against the Emperor. Emperor just absolutely dunks on... on uh, Mirex tokens. No priority, so we don't need even to think about it. We are at 9, we don't need to do anything. We go like this. And we will keep the mana, but we will go with Mirex at the end step. And he cannot block, and we won the game. See? Thinking helps, and got us where we wanted. Uh, let's start attacking. I kind of want to use all the loyalty from the Emperor, to be honest, and use the second one. They might get, like, they really want to flip it, because then the Mirex tokens will be good against Samurai, so we cannot allow it. But I don't, I think this is close to scoop. Are you serious? Alright, so he will flip it. He will actually flip it. Oh man, but we get one good trade. You know what? We actually get two good trades. Because we play like this. Oh, he won't like it. Your attack fizzled and now we get two trades. And we, we are getting ahead and we won. Alright, even though he managed to flip it with one, <laughs> one land, we still will get there. 
and we want to be super aggressive let's go this on blue probably and this is how ladies and gentlemen you get to mythic man my win rate is kind of insane with this one i will check it after the games but it's it's really high all right guys we're after one hour of gameplay and you watched it and while editing i watched all of the games again so we are on the same page right now and that was pretty epic i'm especially happy with the last game man this wasn't an easy journey like we have insane win rate but the games weren't easy very often we got mana screwed we played an, against aggro on triple pain lands we have four in the whole deck so the games were absolutely very very challenging and we still managed to you know get sad a good win rate so i think there's something in the deck i didn't want to mention it in the intro because it would you know be too long but here we have a room to talk about it uh, i was super scared to play this deck when i saw the deck list i was like man no way this is the highest win rate this has no jays like not a single jays how am i supposed to win against atraxa decks and i think that's why uh, you know this checking for a specific league comes into play and this is why i mentioned in the intro that this is specifically highest diamond win rate because it seems that in diamond there is no atraxa decks in all of the games today i didn't see a single atraxa deck i believe and that means you don't need the jace it's all about aggro and against aggro emperor is your win con this is how you win you still have the birds and the birds really help uh, just because for four mana you can block a lot of creatures like their one and two drops will generally get ca you know countered by this which gives you basically three cards if they draw a chick or you know like uh, Fel maybe not Feldon, but you get the idea. You get a free card basically, and the rest of the shell is good enough and strong enough to just uh, you know survive. I honestly really was tempted to change the deck list and add few Jaces, but in the end, I have to say it worked. It worked better than I expected, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the whole video, <laughs> especially if you watched from start to finish really thank you i really wanted to share this experience with you it was a blast playing this deck and yeah i think i'm a little bit tired after all the slathering and editing the video so tell me in the comments if you enjoyed please support the channel if you have time uh, you know those likes and subscribes really account for a lot and if you want to share the video with your friend uh, if he struggles to hit mythic that also helps both me and the guy so you know that's a good deal for both of us and really thank you guys for being so supportive always know that this is very appreciated more than you think it makes all the difference and it makes videos like this possible and yeah i mean you have the deck you know how to play it against all those pesky aggro decks so i think that's it for today if you want to be mythic now you know how easy it is so yeah have fun guys and see you tomorrow We'll be